Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Print tutorial here on my channel. I am Boomy, your host, and today we're going to spend some time talking about an anna that I really haven't shown a whole lot of attention to other than magical plants, and that's Exotic Garden. Let's dive in right away. So first and foremost, Exotic Garden has a few different things. There's some plants and fruits. There's actually 33 different fruits and vegetables that you can grow, ranging from dragon fruit to cherry to apple, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. Then there are different ingredients that you use as part as different uh, recipes you're gonna create. There's a kitchen, which we'll show you here shortly. And not that this applies directly to what we're gonna show you today, but the crook will help you increase your sapling drop rate, especially if you're trying to get more of the fruits and vegetable plants. So we have some different food that we can make. For example, if I wanna make, let's see, what am I in the mood for? I'm in the mood for a chocolate bar. So cocoa and cocoa beans and some heavy cream. Let's do that. Let's give Boomer some cocoa beans and let's give Boomer some heavy cream. All right, so we'll make some food. But before that, we're going to start with the juicer. Any of your fruits or vegetables you can put into the juicer and get juice. So we'll make grape juice because I grew up with drink juice as a kid and I loved it. We got ourselves some grape juice. Oh man, that was just as good as I remember as a kid. Just kidding. But You'll notice a lot of the different drinks have different saturation levels and it can give you more hunger restoration than, say, cooked beef. Cooked beef gives you four. What we're about to make over here in the kitchen actually gives you seven. We're going to make a pina colada. A little thirsty tonight. Now, I honestly, in real life, I don't drink, but you know what? This is a game. I don't care. So pina colada gives you the most saturation of seven versus cooked beef farm gives you four. Now, this one is actually going to be crafted in the kitchen. The juicer is simply just like that, what it says, it squeezes juice out. Here is the correct setup for the kitchen. You know, so you got some upside down bricks. We got ourselves over here, a bookshelf, a crafting table, a dispenser, a furnace, stone pressure plate, and an iron trap door. Items go into the dispenser. So if I remember right, it goes pineapple juice, ice cube, and coconut milk. Right click the trap door, nope, I've got the wrong ingredients. Ah, it should have been pineapple, not pineapple juice. Try that again, Boomer. Let's just get some pineapple. There we go. All right. Comes out in the furnace. There we go. We have our pina colada. Enjoy a quick little drink. When I have some saturation, I can refill. All right. So moving on from there, to obtain all of these fancy plants, the ones that we're looking at here, all 33 of those. Also, you can get grass seeds in all six vanilla saplings as well as dandelions and poppies and a number of different flowers. We've set up a very quick system here where we are going to auto bone meal a grass block and we are going to simply punch grass. Now you'll start to see different things are going to drop, right? And what we're looking for, is this on maximum speed? Yeah, okay. What we're looking for is to see it start dropping something that looks like an oak sapling. Now, on average, when I've tried to obtain all 33 plants, I've spent anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours doing this. Now, I could set up a second or possibly a third one, and depending on how far my reach could go back, might be able to speed this process up a little bit. But you're going to see we're going to be getting dandelions, we're going to be getting grass seeds, we're going to be getting a lot of vanilla things. Now, I don't know exactly what the ratio is. My guess is it's somewhere around 1% just from historically having done this knowing that it's taken me anywhere from uh you know 90 minutes to two hours to complete i've got to think that that may very well be about right you know two and a half to three minutes to obtain each plant that doesn't mean i didn't get duplicate plants of course we did so it still can take a while and at some point i'll probably just go look at the code for my own curiosity to see what is the rate at which the special plants will drop. I'm just looking to make sure there isn't one sitting on the ground back there. But historically, like I said, here we got one actually pretty quick. We have a cilantro plant. I love cilantro and Mexican food. It's awesome. So if I want cilantro now, let me shut this off real quick just so it stops the bowl mealing. I'll place it down. I'll turn my bowl meal dispenser back on. Oh, you know what? It's got to be directly on the plant. That's right. It won't work that way. So we'll just grab some bone meal. And there, we can simply get cilantro over and over and over by right-clicking it. Now, if you want additional plants, you can go back breaking glass or in the Dynatech add-on, there's something called a seed plucker. 
which will allow you to get more seeds out of the system. For now, hey man, we're making a bunch of Spanish rice later. Okay, the last part of Exotic Garden, the one I spend the most time on, is the magical plants. Oh, you know what? We didn't make our chocolate. No, that's okay, we'll do it later. Magical plants. We have 20 or 19, 19 different magical plants, ranging from slime to lapis, tin, iron, gold, lead, obsidian, quartz, glowstone, and of course, emerald, diamonds, netherite. We're going to do the famous diamond plant. So again, we've set up a basic uh, redstone clock full of dispensing bone meal onto our plant, which will yield the essence head. Now you can set this up one of two ways. You can put the Android in front of the plant or you can put it above it. Remember to leave a space for the essence to grow. Let's look at the Android's memory core. The script is set up, this is the maximum you can do. It's 46 harvest and replant. Now keep in mind we are using an advanced programmable farmer Android. A regular farmer will not do it. It must be the advanced programmable. So we're setting up 40, uh, let's see, 46, excuse me. 36, 46, yep. 46, advanced harvest and replant. We're gonna turn to the left, we're gonna pull fuel, turn left twice again, push contents, and turn left so we are facing a plant and we repeat the script. Now this guy will run off of lava, which is great because you can use a crucible to generate lava automatically. So let's turn on the bone mealing. Now it will work eventually if you just leave it there long enough, it will yield uh, what's going on here? I know I've got bone meal. Hang on, let's just break the cycle here real quick. That's not the one to break. This one is. Turn that one back off. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. Okay, so now the android is going to continuously harvest that diamond essence. It's going to make 46 attempts, and it t it's, I believe it's every half of a second. So if I get the essence to grow every two or three seconds, that's great. Now, you could put a second bone meal dispenser on here. Honestly, I, I probably wouldn't. It's not going to increase it a whole lot. But there you go. You see it It pushed or pulled fuel, pushed the items if it needed it. Now, it currently didn't need the fuel, so we're good. It's going to continuously go. On an average run through, I think I've seen as low as 7 or 8 essence and as high as 17. It's going to depend a lot, obviously, on how fast your redstone farm is. If we increase this to maximum speed, it's going to increase the rate at which the essence will grow. So that time it looked like we got seven. Let's see what we get off of this one before it turns and pushes. And again, it's just going to be how many bone meal does it take for the plant to grow? There's no way to speed that up other than, like I said, hitting it with additional bone meal plants. The more of these systems that you run on your server though, the higher the lag you're gonna create. So I recommend you kind of keep it to a minimum. But it looks like we're getting about eight to nine right now with the settings that I have currently uh, bone mealing this plant, which again, if you take it every nine, will give you a diamond. So, you know, free diamonds, hey, pretty awesome. All right, guys, so that is going to be our trip through Exotic Garden. Hopefully you've learned something in there. You can uh, definitely try these recipes out. They are really good. Like I said, much more for restoring hunger than uh, cooked beef would be. And, of course, we've got all those plants. And I apparently I still have a lemon from my practice run way up there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave some feedback. And don't forget to go Boomer or go home. We'll talk to you later.